In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your computer so that it can work as a mobile phone. Uh, by, and by this, I mean helping you install Android operating system on your computer so that all the things that you can do on your phone, you're able to do them on your computer. This video is mostly for tech developers. In case you find a section where it's difficult for you to follow please write down in the comment section and i will address it as soon as i see that question let's get started you need to go to osboxes.org this is the website and then you come here and download images we can download for virtual box or for vmware I have both VirtualBox and VMware, but I'm going to download for VirtualBox for this particular time. Um, then here we're going to download Android x86 and we are interested in the Pi version for 64-bit system. So I'm going to click on download, put it in my virtual machines, save and then wait for it to download. When this is done, I'm going to come back and continue with the next process. Additionally, we need to go to VirtualBox here, and then we come here and uh, we download we download the VirtualBox software here. We are using Windows. In case you are using something different, uh, you can just use that. So I'm going to put it in Downloads. Give it some time to download, and then when it's complete, install the software i'm not going to take you through the process of installation uh, i expect you to know how to install software and i have already installed mine so give it some time and then after you are done you're going to have an icon here if it's not there you can search for it from the start menu the next step is preparing the oracle virtual box for launching so we need to extract it because we downloaded it as a zipped file. I'm using 7-zip. If you don't have it, you can download it free from the internet. We're going to unzip this file so that we can get the content uh, that is inside, which is the file that can run on the virtual box. And that is what we are interested in. Good, this is done, 62. And as you can see, we already have it now. So if you can close that and then we come to virtual box, we need to go to machine, then we add, then it's going to take to this Android VM and then Android VM box. We have added it. Let's start and see whether it's going to work. So we're going to use the first option. Let's wait and see. It's going to be working. So Android. takes the form of a tablet and as you can see now we have an Android operating system on our desktop. You can go to Play Store, create the account for Play Store. So you need to sign, give it some time to update the apps and then we are going to sign in and from there you can install any software that you want to install. Let me just sign in as it updates. And the best thing about this is that you will be running the latest operating system. Everything that you'll be having is going to be the latest. This process takes some time, even in normal uh, Android systems. Here we need to put our username. Uh, then we can put our password for the Gmail account that we want to set up for this Android account. Uh, then we can agree to the terms of service. Uh, let's go next. Uh, we are going to give it some time to complete the process. And then we can move to the next step. Um, we can use the backup drive. Just accept the terms. If you want to install software, you just go to Play Store then you can search for the software that you want to install. 
and you just continue using it the way you use your normal phone uh, when you start this tablet is going to be slow initially but as it configures uh, after some time it's going to be working as expected that is how you run android on your computer i hope this video was informative to you uh, thank you for watching if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so now and uh, in case there's some other videos that you would want me to do uh, please write in the comment section so that i can make them for you and i would want you to also look at this course that i've developed for you how to start the business of selling courses online uh, it's a 3.5 hours course so i'll be updating more content as we move along